Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks, and in this video we have the new event, it is called the Final Frontier, um, which is the Mars Rover event, one of my favourite events of uh, the last few years, I guess. It's kind of like a fun event, instead of a grindy event for rewards. It's just, go and have fun, and it was just announced, so without further ado, let's, let's just watch the video and go over all of the deets. There we go. Star Trek time! Okay. Okay. I have not, no clue about Star Trek. Never saw any of those. Still hyped though. First officer's log. The Enterprise is continuing its five-year mission. We have discovered an unusual V-type asteroid. Our sensors registered a powerful energy burst on its surface. It's probably us doing all the power-ups from last Mr. year. Scott, report. Captain, our antimatter is gone. Something drained it. Fascinating. I have located our antimatter on the surface of the asteroid, very close to the source of the energy burst. Let's beam it back. That is a logical suggestion. However, radiation emissions limit the effectiveness of our transporters. Then let's think of another way. Uh, Mr. Scott. Any ideas? Sure, Captain. Let's use my rovers. Yes, well, please. Technically not mine, but modified by me. With painstaking care. I estimate the probability of success at 46%. Like the average win 46%. rate. 46%. That's basically a coin flip. Well, could be worse. Using remote controlled rovers, we'll gather up the antimatter and try to figure out what stole it. I gave the rovers non-lethal self-defense capabilities, just in case. Down to test your rovers in the field. Let's make it a contest. Whoever gathers the most antimatter gets one week of extra shore leave on Ryza. Captain, I could cite a number of Starfleet regulations, but you will likely ignore them. I must assume that you know what you are doing. I hope so too, Spock. Uh, Scotty, give us a rundown of the rover's capabilities. Aye, sir. My wee bairns. They can raise shields just like the Enterprise. And they can accelerate fast. Not to full impulse speed, though. Basically like it was last year. Also, they can use power-ups to your advantage. Like the jump, a small step on the gas pedal, a giant leap for your rover. I don't think there was a Mine jump last year. Off the chase. <laughs> That's going to be trolly. That is going to be truly to tamper with other contestants. And my favorite, the maddening gravity vortex. The black hole is back. Yes. What's that yes. on the view screen? An unidentified merchant vessel, sir. They're hacking into our internal comms. Tired of your exploration routine? Spice up your lives with Orion lockboxes. Get a full spectrum of emotions with each opening. <laughs> Inside, okay. you might find authentic ancient relics. Here. Blocked. All right. Let's get the rover started. Well, at least they're laughing about it as well, you know. At least they're joking about it as well. Okay, okay, okay. Second of May. So that is in, um, how much is it? Three days on Thursday? Yes, starts on Thursday. On Thursday, we're going to start the call to the final frontier. World of Tanks and Star Trek uh, collaboration. So that was the video, as you can see, pretty much like last year, but with different abilities. Uh, last year, the abilities were very different. Only the basic stuff, you know, the boost and the shield is back but the jump wasn't there if i'm not mistaken um the mines and well the, the black hole has to make a return you know the black hole was was the highlight of the event um but yeah, this was the video let's go and check all of the details in uh, the article that they posted as well there we go the article called to the final frontier may 2nd through may 13th like we said thursday is when this starts. Um, to the Final Frontier Commanders, 
A mysterious alien object saw the antimatter straight from the warp core of the USS Enterprise. Use your vehicle combat skills while competing with other crewmates to recover the antimatter and research the alien object. Help the iconic flagship resume her five year mission. Um, this is the video that we just saw a moment ago, so there's no reason to go into that. Uh, recruit iconic characters! Free mission progress rewards include three iconic Star Trek characters Captain James T. Kirk, Commander Spock, and Com Specialist Nyota. I have no idea how to say that one. Apologies, I've never seen Star Trek. Um, all with custom voiceovers. Put them in charge of your vehicles in random battles. So is it a zero? But it's a zero. You get three zero Kirk brothers in arm crew members, which is lovely. So James T. Kirk, James Tiberius Kirk, is master of bold moves and unorthodox solutions. Uh, his charisma is especially tangible when he's in the commander's chair, motivates his crew to succeed against improbable odds. Comes with a unique voiceover, so let's give it a listen. My name is James Tiberius Kirk. Can't be any worse than the Kobayashi Maru. Red alert! All hands to battle stations! So this was James T. Kirk, apparently. Uh, commanding officer, first mate, chief scientist, irrespective of his position, Spock is a specialist of exemplary efficiency, thanks to his sharp mind, disciplined by impeccable Vulcan logical thinking. Uh, which comes into its own in his cutting remarks, comes with a unique voiceover. We will follow all Starfleet rules and regulations that apply to ground combat. While in battle, do not let your emotions control you. Remember, wrong. the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Act accordingly. It's a team game. It's a team game. He's not wrong. Um, Child Prodigy blossomed into an outstanding linguistics and communication specialist. I have no doubt how to say that name. Also demonstrates impressive command skills thanks to her natural eloquence. Comes with a unique voiceover. So, let's listen to that one as well. Consider it a field exercise. Just like at the Academy. The Academy. As a linguistics expert, I should begin this engagement by saying... Kapla. What does that mean? What is, like, if, if anyone knows what that means, please let me know in the comments below what Kapla means. Thank Keep you. the Prime Directive in mind. Always. Okay, so those are the crew members you can get. Um, all with unique voiceovers, all with zero perk brothers in arms, which is what we all really want, right? This is what we all really want. Um... Ride your rover into the mission area. Mysterious alien object is placing antimatter fragments in strange patterns on the asteroid's surface, which basically means it's going to be uh, arriving on random positions on the map. Use the remote controlled rover to collect fragments before your USS Enterprise crewmates beat you to it. Guided by Mr. Scott, Captain Kirk encourages healthy competition and wants to test the vehicle's performance. So, use the rover's abilities and power ups. Okay, so the default abilities, like I said, from last year's shield and boost, uh, pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. What is this? Does it show us? Oh. It shows us something. I guess it just shows how cool the vehicle is or something. <laughs> okay. Um, shield, deploy powerful shield to repel opponent rover's attacks and keep a rover safe in the mission area. Boost, use a boost to quickly accelerate a rover's engines, allowing you to escape from a sticky situation or ram opponent rovers with extra force. And then you have the abilities that you uh, pick up on the battlefield, which is jump, perform an evasive maneuver to jump your rover to the designated location in the mission area. Mines, produce gravitic explosions that knock back opponent rovers. Um, barrier. Repulse opponent rovers out of the area around you to gain some breathing space. And the vortex, which is um, like last year's black hole. Drop on the rovers into a gravity vortex at your selected location. So if it's the same as last year, when you have everyone going into the center of the map at the end of the, uh, the battle, then the vortex will be lovely in those situations. Okay, rewards. Rewards time. That is what, that is what we're here for, right? Uh, mission progress rewards include unique Star Trek themed content, complete daily event missions and earn a 2D style, decals and inscriptions, as well as three commanders with unique voiceovers and an Orion lockbox. Only one? 
do we actually get only one? That'll be very uh, disappointing, actually. Considering, you know, the Russian version of World of Tanks, they actually got 40 boxes for free. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not expecting 40. I think that is uh, a bit too much. But, you know, five, I think five is is a good a good amount to give if we complete missions. Five to ten. Ten is good as well. Um, but one is just a bit too cheap, in my opinion. But we are getting James T. Kirk. I'm kind of blocking him with my face. Obviously, my face is, is better looking than this very handsome person. Yes. Um, <laughs> players can select the nation that qualification. For James T. Kirk, get some um, inscriptions, some decals, a day of premium. Components. Always nice to have components. Some reserves. Um, mobility improvement system. You can get three of those. 200 bonds. If you do the Spock route, you get Spock. Inscriptions, decals, a 2D style, uh, more components, more reserves, a survival improvement suite times three, and some more bonds. If you do uh, the ladies uh, route, I have no idea how to pronounce the name, apologies, you can get the lovely lady, the inscription, the decal, one loot box, which is called lockbox over here, I guess. Um, a day of premium account, 250 components. Credit reserves, always nice, and fire control system times three with 400 extra bonds. So you get 800 bonds from those missions. You get a loot box, you get some components, some reserves, and some um, experimental equipment. Overall, I guess the uh, the rewards are not... Okay, this... <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is this is where the good rewards, this is where the good rewards are, right? Which does make sense um, that it'll be in the loot boxes as usual. But like I said earlier, I think that five loot boxes, or like I don't know, at least one per line, right? One per line to give us three. Even that is very cheap in my opinion. Um, yeah. I think that would have been better, but get more Orion lockboxes. Some precious items ended up in the hands of Orion merchants who sell them in lockboxes, which are loot boxes, if anyone is wondering. Uh, possible loot, merchant word indeed, it includes 10 armored vehicles from Earth's past. So once again, it's 10. Which I don't really like. Um, it makes you actually buy a lot of loot boxes if you don't have all of them already. If you want the new vehicles, right? Two of them were previously unknown. The AAT-60 and the Nemesis. We're going to have to check if those are actually real new vehicles or if it's reskinned. Um, I think they are new vehicles, actually. Both the Nemesis and the AAT-60, which is rather nice. It is rather lovely to have some new vehicles. Uh, but yeah, going to have to check what are the other vehicles, right? So you can get Montgomery Scott, which comes with... I guess it's not a zero perk. It doesn't say anything about it being a zero perk, so it's probably just a trained brothers in arms with a couple of extra skills that you can train. You get Hikaru Sulu. No idea how to say those names. Um, once again, brothers in arms, two extra skills. And Dr. Leonard McCoy, once again, brothers in arms, two extra skills. Also, the A80 60, which is a tier 8 American premium medium tank. And. Uh, the Nemesis, which is a tier 8 British premium medium tank. You also get some 2D and 3D styles. Okay, so there are 3D styles in the boxes as well this time. Uh, decals and inscriptions. We're here for the 3D styles, if we're being honest. Experimental equipment, which is okay. Uh, personal reserves, which is okay. What premium account? I guess if you don't have premium time, that is lovely. Premium tanks are tier 8 premium, so out of the, uh, the 10 vehicles. They, they didn't tell us anything about those. Um, I guess we're just going to have to wait for the loot box article to pop up where all of the details will be revealed. Um, probably later on. So the new armored vehicles are both tier 8 premium medium tanks with very good gun depression values. AAT-60 combines great gun handling with solid DPM and can support the fascinating emissary 3D style. Nemesis has a very sturdy turret and excellent single shot damage. So I guess this is the Alpha Boy. This is the DPM Boy that can actually use a, a 3D style. 
Let's check what this 3D style is. Scan the emissary 3D style. I found this one when we were looking for that T95 we lost in field trials. <laughs> How do you lose a T95? <laughs> um, the ground round thing was strange, wet, wrinkled, like it had been fired or something. And what a remarkable piece of equipment, this tank. Looks a bit like one of ours, but I heard Doc getting all excited about the improbable alloy. It's made of, after I managed to chip a bit off the lower plate. So I guess the lower plate is weak if he was able to chip off. Never mind. I uh, um, hope his ravings can stir up some of the top brass to get the tank out of our depot and into some fancy top secret lab. Because I'm telling you, it looks like it can fly, or even more. You know the little green men that built it? Is it the Yodas? I don't know, just for fun, inspired by our exotic designs, might find its remote control and press some buttons. Um, so yeah, this was the Emissary 3D style, is that it though? No, get even more unique Star Trek themed customization items, claim Twitch drops, and join a server-wide competition of four teams named after USS Enterprise crew members. And this contest gives you access to the incoming transmission special combat mission chain completed in random battles and within the event. So, overall, I guess, uh, you know, kind of what I expected. Need to see more details about all of the loot boxes. I mean, they did say 10 armored vehicles, but they didn't say which vehicles. So, yes, apart from the loot boxes that they just didn't give us too much info, not even about the new vehicles. Um, yeah, pretty okay event. Um, definitely more about the gameplay itself rather than the rewards. Gameplay is awesome. It is fun. It is one of my favorite events in recent years. Um, so hopefully we'll all enjoy it as well. Uh, but yeah, this is it for this video. So let me know in the comments down below what do you think of the event, of the rewards, of everything, basically. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You're awesome. Stay awesome. Stay safe. And I hope I'll see you all in the next video. Tata, people. Have a good one.